you're not the prize you're a bully if jess was here right now i'd sit myself in my seat and make sure i stay in my seat <laughs> and i would just tell her like listen you're not the prize you're a bully you need to stop bullying people because it's not a good look i don't know if she feels like doing this is giving her props making her feel like the big girl but the girls in the villa are intimidated by jess and i don't think that's a good dynamic to have when you're supposed to be getting along with people she's not being straight up she's yeah bullying. you're just being a bully it's not mm. a good look that's what i tell her oh do you guys agree with diamante there saying that jess is a bully i mean i've said some things about jess I don't think I've called her that yet. Would I go that far? Because I have to say, in last night's episode when Uma was really upset, Jess did make some good points, and Jess was there to comfort her and say those things that needed to be said. And she has shown herself quite friendly towards Uma and Mimi in their times of need. But Jess, I guess, will always be Jess. Whether I go that far, I don't know. But I haven't met Jess and spent time with Jess as Diamante has. So it remains to be seen. But hey, Diamante's come out of the villa, Diamante's doing what Diamante does, and she's obviously very keen to get as much publicity as she can, and maybe she's courting management or something. That could be the reason why she's saying all these things. But now, what I'm saying is, first look. The press release is here. Let's have a look into what's happening tonight. Looks like another exciting one, guys. And yeah, there is a bit of a rubbish bit in the middle, but Apart from that, it looks like a good episode. Io pulls Mimi for a chat. Later that night, Io decides to pull Mimi for a chat in the den to clear the air. Opening up, he says, So me personally, I can't sit here and say to you, all of my feelings are lost. You haven't changed. You're still Mimi. That's blindingly obvious. Laughing knowingly, Mimi encourages Io. Keep going. Speaking about her current connection with Josh, Io continues, I can't hide the way I feel about you, so it's not easy for me to see you go around the villa and see you chat to man. It will never be. Io asks, what was that saying you had? Mimi answers, what is meant for you will never pass you. As the two share a knowing glance, does this mean the door is still open for Mimi and Io? Well, firstly, I take issue with that phrase, what is meant for you will never pass you, because we know that's rubbish, you know? Sometimes you're waiting for the bus that's meant for you, and it does drive past and not pick you up. Loads of opportunities pass you by in life. You can see an opportunity and say, oh, that's the opportunity I want, and it still gets away from you. So I love the way they come up with these cod rubbish phrases. Are the islanders kind of briefed on them before they go in the villa? Nevertheless, getting back to this subject, you know, the idea that Io and Mimi could get back together is... I suppose exciting in one way but infuriating in another because you think all the stuff we've been through with them it's like a complete roundabout and once again why is it okay for the guys in the villa to sit back and say yeah you know, I don't really like seeing you walk around with that guy when they're the ones who kick this stuff off do you know what I mean the reason Io is seeing Mimi walk around the villa with other guys obviously Josh in this case is because he went and got with Jessica when he was at Casa Amor he didn't have to do that there was no obligation I don't understand the way it always works. Oh, I'm, I wish I'd never done it now. It's too late. You made your choice, mate. Anyway, for my money, I don't actually think, sadly, guys, that Josh is going to turn out to be the one. I was very disappointed last night when he did his speech to Mimi and he had to mention that there was another girl who caught his eye. I thought, is this really the time to stand up in front of someone who you want to get with and say, yeah, I like you, but by the way, there is someone else I also like and I think she likes me too. Grace. So, you know, I thought that was a bit shifty. Why, 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 why even mention it? Just keep it under wraps somehow, because what happens with Grace, or what you think may happen with Grace, may not actually happen at all. Anyway, there we go. So, Io and Mimi could be getting back together. It's time to pucker up in today's challenge. Challenge? Does it happen inside the villa? No. The next day, Grace receives a text, receiving details of the day's saucy kissing challenge. It reads, Islanders. It's time to pucker up and find out who's the sauciest snogger in today's kissing competition. Hashtag lusty lipsing. Hashtag no pecs allowed. Nicole warns Kieran, he better get that right, I swear. Oh my goodness. As the girls prepare to pucker up and the boys don their noise-cancelling headphones and eye masks, it's time to get down to business. 
So basically this is exactly what we had earlier in this very series when it, who was it? Was it Grace arrived and the boys had to wear eye masks and she kissed every single one of them? Do you remember that? I think that was when Grace... Was it Grace? Who else? No, it was a different bombshell. Oh, I can't remember who it was. Well, we've had it before already this time, haven't we? Eye masks, kissing, blah, blah, blah. It could have been. I can't. I'm so sorry. My, you know, there's so many girls, so many people to keep an eye on. It, it, it's just going a bit mad. But there we go. I'm just so disappointed that this challenge is one we've kind of seen already this series. And it's not taking place outside the villa. And Nicole is already giving Kieran grief. This poor man cannot win. Which girl will be rated nice and slow, but a bit sloppy? Which boy will admit that kiss had me tingling all over? I didn't want it to stop. And which girl will have Joey saying, I like this girl. I feel like this girl might be in love with me or something. But which girl will take the crown as the best kisser and who will be less than impressed by their snogging score? So there we go. You know what's going to happen and there'll be a bit of fallout from that. But again, really disappointed that we're kind of nearing the end of this season of Love Island soon. And, and once again, we've had one, one exterior challenge outside the villa. That's it. As far as I remember, unless I'm making a mistake, the only one I remember is that one where they were in school outfits, do you remember, and all that kind of stuff. That's all we've had. It's so tiresome keeping everything within the villa. Later that evening, Aya receives an unexpected text message asking the islanders to gather around the fire pit immediately. Grace then receives a text which reveals, Islanders, the public have been voting for their favourite girl and favourite boy. Those with the fewest votes will be at risk of being dumped from the island tonight. As Josh and Reuben are the newest Islanders, they are not included in the vote. As the unexpected news shocks the villa, which girls and boys will be named at risk? And with the public's votes determining their fate, who will be dumped from the villa immediately? So we were warned about this at the end of last night's show, weren't we? They opened up the phone lines for people to call in and cast their vote. Who do you think is at risk of being dumped? My money is on Connor and Emma and Hugo and Jess, I think. Purely because Connor and Emma, they're going nowhere. Or it could be Blade and Grace, you know, maybe. They could be in the bottom as well. So yeah, I think it's, it's, it's that lot, isn't it? To who were in my bottom four earlier. And that is, let's put Blade and Grace, Hugo and Jess, and Connor and Emma. I think they're the ones who are most vulnerable. Obviously the producers are keen to get couples out, so we get down to our final list. So I think any of those guys could go tonight. I don't think Jess will go. Like I say, I think she's really, she's in there now. That woman could survive the apocalypse. So I just think, highly unlikely she'll go. I think definitely Connor and Emma. I think if I had money anyone, it'd be Connor and Emma going. Which again, a shame, but well done Connor. You know, he's, he's got this far. I mean, come on, no one had high hopes for him getting far at all. And even though he seems like a very nice man, he's established no connection. Someone said the other day he comes across as a children's TV presenter, and he is a bit like that, isn't he? He's always bouncy and smiling and saying, yeah, of course that's fine. Even when people say to him, look, I'm dumping you, like Emma did the other night, he's going, yeah, you gotta do what's right for you. That's okay, I thought he was gonna sing a happy song about it. But nevertheless, I don't think he's gonna make it to the final. So let me know who you think is possibly going to be dumped guys and we shall watch it all later on tonight but sadly without Will and Uma. Not so sad about Will but really upset that Uma's gone. I just think ugh, it's going to be so boring I think without her. It's going to be a bit more dull and last night I just my heart sank even when Will said to her at the end you know I think you know I fall in love with you I thought I don't know I don't really believe that sorry and who am I to judge someone else's feelings but yeah. Oh well, thanks for watching as ever guys, and let's enjoy it together tonight. I'm sure it's going to be fun. Looks like it could be a good episode, he said, in great hope and trepidation. It will be moderately good. Average, not great.